All right, we're going to add a little bit of behaviour to our players now. Um, the uh, the enemy, sorry. Um, when when the enemies are standing still, they're a little bit easy to hit. So let's let's give them some behaviour. So if you click on your um, enemy and click on behaviours, what we're going to do is we're going to add in a bullet behaviour. So we hit the plus, we hit bullet. Um, it seems a bit weird that there should be a bullet, but the bullet um, is just literally just moving forward in a certain direction. Um, if you set the speed to 400, it's going to go like the the existing bullet does, it's going to go off to the right, it's going to go into positive X. Um, we don't want that, we want it to go the other way, so we're going to say minus 25, so it's quite a bit slower, uh, the speed, but it's um, and it's going in the opposite direction. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Um, while we're here, we're adding another one, and this one gives uh, can give us a bit of a an interesting look to the movement. It's called a sine. It's a sine wave, and uh, the sine wave is just literally just an up and down, um, or a right and left. We're going to double click on that, and you'll see on the left hand side this sine wave, and uh, it says active at start, the movement horizontal. We want to change that to vertical. We want it to go up and down. Um, slightly. Um, there is some you can stuff around with these values if you want. You can um, do things like add in how much randomness to the period. The period is the, how quickly it will go from one to the other. Uh, you can change these values as well and the uh, magnitude I'm going to change to something a bit smaller like 20. Um, if you uh, test this out you'll see that it moves up and down um, as expected in a bit of a sine wave but it's also got the bullet behaviour which is moving it in the other direction so um, we can shoot it and kill it just like before. Um, the next step would be to get the uh, computer the uh, system to um, spawn some of these guys in because right now uh, I don't want to have to keep putting them in and when you've killed the one that we have or the five that we have then the game is over so let's get them to go in automatically so um, back to the event sheet again um, we're going to add in another event and this time it's going to be a system event so um, click on system and we're going to say that the uh, system for um, in every every x second so every every so many seconds you can define what x is every so many seconds we're going to do something so we'll click on that and we'll see how many seconds I'm going to actually leave that at one um, could be a bit overwhelming but we can change it later uh, we'll click done. So every one second something's going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an action for the system to spawn some of the bad enemy sprites. So if you click on system, you see that there's one that says create object under general. Um, the create object allows us to make any one of the sprites that we have on our scene. So we're just going to click create object click to choose and choose the enemy sprite um, remember to put it on game layer and uh, the next thing to fill in is the X and the Y so um, I'm not quite sure what the X and the Y should be um, it'd be great if we could have them in some way random um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just have a little guess I reckon that screen was about 854 across so let's say 900 for the X so that they appear on the right hand side of the screen for the Y um, I'm pretty sure the screen was something like uh, 480. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make um, a random value. So um, you can do this in uh, by typing in random inside of this uh, this value. So random gives me the chance to make a random value. You can choose it as a range, so between zero and um, any number or you can actually say what numbers you want by putting the commas between them. So I'm just going to say um, between 0, uh, or let's say between 20 and then a comma and then what did I say it was about 480 so I'm going to take it a little bit off the end so say 460 and then we click done. So in theory um, every one second the system will create an enemy sprite on the game layer at 900 on the X and at a random value between about 20 and about 460. So if we run this, um, I'm going to put this off the screen so we know that it's definitely not going to be that one and we hit play. You should see um, some enemies appear, so here's one um, appeared and then there was another one and then there was another one and then there was another one so we end up with something that almost looks like a game. Um, the the uh, the bullets maybe shoot a bit too quickly it would be nice if we could have a score and obviously sound so what I might do is a little quick bonus video at the end right now we've got something that almost looks like a game um, you now have learned a lot you've learned about how to create and um, how to use uh, existing images for sprites how to create things how to do random values 
um, how to make uh, bullets, explosions and sprite sheets. So um, you've learned a lot, um, maybe you should look at some of the other tutorials as well and try some of the other ones and then you can start coming up with your own ideas.